All right, so this is our yoga portion. This is our past life yoga portion, and this is just to get us primed for the meditation, to get us relaxed, to get us ready to be open for it. All right, so I just want you to place your blocks in front of you. We're gonna use some block work today. And then we're just gonna come down and just go as far as your body will allow you. Don't overexert yourself and just do three breaths. And then when you do your third breath, just come up. And then come up. And we're gonna do some twisting. Twisted, twisting is really good for toxins and releasing things that we no longer need. So just put your hand on your knee, doesn't matter which side, and just turn. And again, I suggest go into the movement very like as far as you can and then back off just a tad. Because you don't want to overexert yourself, you don't want to hurt yourself. And just do your three breaths, and then we're gonna go to the other side. And then just make your way to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, and then come forward. And now we're gonna do butterfly, but a little bit further out. We're, we don't wanna go like this. We're gonna go like this, kind of like a diamond shaped. And then, now with this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. We're going to go down. So just whatever you feel comfortable putting your forehead on as far as you can go. So like you can come to here, you can come to here, or you can even come to here, depending on your flexibility. So just listen to your body. So just come to here and let's do five breaths in this position. And then when you get to your fifth breath, just go ahead and make your way back up. Okay. So now we're going to just put your block in your hand. This is going to be almost like an extension of your hand. We're going to put our leg out and then bring our other leg in. Yep. And put your block here and then bend towards your block and take three breaths and then we're just going to slowly move to the other side everybody is doing such a great job And then when you get to your end of your breath, we'll just gently move to the other side and just place your block in your other hand and do the same movement. Good job. And when you get to your third breath, I want you to come back up. And then let's put out both legs. See, I was trying to get you guys more, and so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little cocky. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I'm like, where is there a straight place? <laughs> All right. So again, we're gonna bring this out in front of us and go towards it like this. And again, only do as far as you can. Honestly, don't overexert yourself. If this is only as far as you can go, that's perfectly fine. Just want to get a nice stretch but not overexerting yourself and just we're going to do five breaths in this one so just take your five breaths So just put this to the side for now. We are going to use it at our for our last move, but for the next few moves, we're not going to do that. We need to make our way back or down to the mat. So you're going to be laying on your backs with your head on the mat and just put your legs forward straight for a moment. Whoa, my head's pointing down. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to
going to do is we're going to go into a, um, oh shoot, I lost it. Oh, frog stretch. So basically just go ahead and take a look at me and then you guys can do it. And I'll take a look to make sure you're doing it right. So we're going to bring up one leg, hand here, another leg, hand here, and just squat like a frog. That's it. That's all you're going to do. Yep. Let me walk around so I can help out. See, everybody's... Okay. So we're going to do more like a squat. You're going forward. There you go. Yep. On both sides. Like a squat. Yep. And just breathe here. There's no specific amount of breaths I want. I just want you just to breathe. And... Yep. Perfect. Everybody's doing so good. Just continue to breathe. Open yourself up. We're getting ready for this amazing meditation to go back in the past. We have to open ourselves up. So now we're going to go into Happy Baby. Is everybody familiar? Yep, great. I can help you. Just a second. Yep. Just like a baby. Just like baby does. That's why it's called happy baby. And whatever you're comfortable with. Yep, do there, do there. And with this one, kind of move your legs a bit. We're happy babies in this position. Just breathe it out and breathe. This is great for your hips. This is probably the best stretch that you can do for your hips. Hips. So if you get tight hips a lot or even pelvis pain, this is going to be your best friend. Just breathe. Now just go back down where you got your legs straight in front of you again and let's just take a moment before we get into our last move. Just take a moment. I'm going to read from this divine wisdom for you. and Just take a moment. Put your hands on yourself. Give yourself a little love. What a great thing you're doing for yourselves today. Being here, showing up. How amazing that is. Today is August 20th. <laughs> the greatest act of service you can provide is shining your inner light. You are most beautiful when you show up as your authentic self and let others into your heart. It is your willingness to be real and raw that empower others to shed their own mask and be free. It is the love you hold for yourself that helps others love themselves. As you fearlessly live your truth, you illuminate the truth of others. Your divine duty is to rise in your power and lead through your heart-based example. Radiating your truth and confidently sharing your essence with the world is what brings positive change to the world. As you rise into your full potential, an energetic ripple effect arises and spreads throughout the collective, activating the masses and helping them rise in their own way. As people everywhere learn to be and love themselves, a new, better way of being is born. Just soak those words in. As people everywhere learn to be and love themselves, a new, better way is being born. So if you ask yourself, what can one person do in this world to make changes? That is to love yourself and be the example of that love for others. And every time we love ourselves, Every time we become that example, we send out that ripple effect into the world 
then another person does it, and another person, and another person. Energy is real. So when you energetically send out to the world that love that you love yourselves, others will begin to love themselves. And yes, this world can be harsh at times. And yes, there's a lot of negativity and toxicity out there. But that does not mean you have to have that in your, your world. If your ripple effect only affects your family, your friends, those close to you, maybe the doctor you go see or, or the teacher that your kids go to or the person at the grocery store. If that's all that it touches, that is something pretty special. That is something very big. So continue to love yourselves and send that energetic ripple out to the world wherever you go. Because every time you do, a new person loves themselves. Take a deep breath in. So now we're going to use our block for our last position. So this is called hips up. So for me, it's a little bit challenging because I'm on a hill, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what to do. And if you have difficulty, I can help you. Um, so basically what you're going to do, I'm going to go this way. Easier. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come to this position. You're going to have it in your hand. You're going to lift your hips up and you're going to go. You don't want. Okay, let me show. So you see where this is at? So like my, my butt is here. It's right where my um, solar plexus. So it's like right on the bottom of your back, the end of your back. You don't want it too far forward or too far back because you don't want to hurt your back. Oh, perfect. If it's the legs the same one, or no, we'll get there. Yep, okay. we'll get there. Okay, so this is just a little bit forward about there. If it's uncomfortable, make adjustments. If this is too uncomfortable altogether, you can take it out and just sit there and still do the next move, what we're going to do. So what you're going to do, and I'm just going to come to each of you before I show the camera, is you're just going to bring both legs up all the way up. There you go. This is called hips up. This is awesome for your hips and your pelvis. Yep. And we're going to try to do straight if you can. Yep. Perfect. If this becomes uncomfortable again, put your legs back down. It's perfectly fine. And if you want to try it without the um, block, you can do that too. This is one of my favorite positions. I do this every day in my own personal practice. So basically, and I'm just going to show the camera here, is we're going to put the block underneath here and then come up. There we go. And then you're just going to breathe and you can move your ankles back and forth. You can move them around, loosen up those joints if you choose to. And just breathe. All of you are doing so great. Another way to do this, if you're at home and you don't have a block, is scoot up to the to the wall, but put your butt up against the wall and put your legs up. Basically, you're getting the same movement. And just breathe. And now gently, gently, just put your feet back down on the ground and gently lift up and take the block back out and then make your way to sitting. Just gently. If you don't have a block, like I said, seriously, just, or even on a bed, like you can just scoot your butt up to the bottom, you know, bottom and then put your legs up. It's seriously, is like a great stretch. It's so good. I could sit there all day. Um, my husband uses that stretch too because he's got bad hips. And so it really helps your hips. So if you do have tight hips, if you're in a job where you run, 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 run all the time, 
that's a good one to start. And if you don't have tight, tight hips, it's still a good one to start now so it, you don't get to tight hips. Um, trust me, it's very painful and you don't want to get there. So if you don't, um, maintenance, now's time to start maintenance. Um, all right, so that is the end of our yoga session. I'm going to stop the video and then we're going to take a quick break, uh, breather, and then we're going to go into our meditation.